In Rats for Lish King Classic, everyone but the most filthy of casuals were running engineering and jewel crafting at the launch of the game due to how strong the bonuses that increased player power was. Rocket boots, haste gloves, crit and shots, serenite bombs, sappers, gems that outpaced any stat bonus provided by any other profession, you were hard pressed to find any justification to pick up any other profession. But with Rocket Boots getting a nerf with it having the option of failing and with no new bombs and sappers being introduced in Cataclysm, as well as jewel crafting stat bonuses being put in line with the other professions, surely things will change, right? Right. This is your Cataclysm Guide to Professions. Let's start out with what you want to avoid picking up, and that will be the gathering professions. Sure, at the start of Cataclysm, herbing and mining will undoubtedly make you a lot of money, but it'll be a terrible option to maximize your character power. Skinning gets a passive bonus of 80 crit, which isn't really useful on any class. Mining gives you a passive bonus of 120 stamina, which is okay for tanks and is in line with some of the other professions, but it offers zero flexibility if you want to swap over to DPS, and if it's pure stamina you're after, there are better options. Herbalism gets a 2 minute cooldown that provides 480 haste for 20 seconds, which could see some use from classes that benefit greatly from haste, like Unholy DK, but overall rather lackluster compared to the other professions. Then we have the 80 stat professions. All of these professions offer 80 primary stats in one way or another if you're a DPS or a healer, and 120 stamina if you're a tank. Enchanting gives you 40 stat enchant on ring. Inscription gives you shoulder enchant that gives you 80 more primary stats than the reputation option. Alchemy gives you mixology, which doubles the duration of your flask and gives it an 80 stat bonus while the flask is active. Further, you also get an unlimited 80 stat flask to use while you're not using a regular flask. Alchemy also have access to some of the best 359 item level trinkets in the early game, which will make it onto the previous list for most people, including myself as a bloody K. The three professions that deviate a bit from the 80 stat bonus will be blacksmithing, jewel crafting, and leatherworking. Blacksmithing has the same bonus from Wrath of the Lich King, meaning that you get access to two extra gem slots. As gems until Dragon Soul has 40 primary stats each, this means you'll get an extra 80 stats from blacksmithing. However, gems are not limited to primary stats, and as such, if you're a class that scales heavily from a secondary stat, like Mastery, that means you can opt to gem for that stat instead, giving you much greater flexibility. This is the case too for Jewel Crafting that gets their bonus from increased power gems like in Wrath. And just like in Wrath, since you have access to three unique gems, giving you an odd number of stats, Jewel Crafting turns out to be slightly more stats than the other professions. They get 81 as opposed to 80. Jewel crafting also has the same flexibility bonus as blacksmithing does, being able to prioritize stats like mastery or haste over a primary stat. Jewel crafting also gets access to 346 item level trinkets, which will be great options for heading into heroics early on. Leatherworking, like all other professions, get an 80 stat bonus with the profession through a wrist enchant. However, since there are no new stamina enchants on Cataclysm Bracers, if you are a tank wanting to opt for stamina instead of mastery, then leatherworking is where you'll be getting the most bang for your buck. Leatherworking will give you a bonus of 155 stamina over the 120 stamina of other professions. You'll also get access to the appropriate leg enchant for free, which is a nice added bonus. And then there are the outlier professions, tailoring and engineering. Tailoring doesn't get the same 80 stat bonus as the other professions. Rather, it gives access to a cloak enchant like you did in Wrath. The bonus gives you either 580 intellect or 1000 attack power for 15 seconds when it procs. If you average out the proc, it gives similar values as the other professions. But since we are absolute gamers, lining up the proc and combining it with other cooldowns and trinkets will give you much more value than the static 80 stats would. Tailoring, like leatherworking, also get access to the appropriate leg enchant for free. While engineering loses value in Cataclysm, it will still be an extremely good profession. Engineering keeps their 1 minute cooldown glove enchant, but instead of giving haste, it will give you 480 primary stats for 12 seconds. Tanks lose their static armor buff, but instead gain a 1500 armor buff for 12 seconds with the 1 minute cooldown. Engineering also gives you a belt enchant, which gives you an absorption shield, invisibility, or the trusted old rocket boots. Keep in mind though that these tinkers can fail. 
If the shield fails, it AoE taunts the mobs around you, which is not a big deal if you're a tank, but it will kill you as a DPS. The Nitro Boost have a chance of failing unlike in Wrath, making them highly unreliable. If it fails, it gives you a ticking debuff that hits you for a lot. Invisibility Belt may be more valuable than we think for speedruns as it doesn't compete with your potion cooldown, giving you access to skips and tank bolts that you needed potions for before. We also get Slow Fall on Cloak without the crit bonus. And none of the Tinkers, not even the Glove Enchant, competes with other enchants on your gear, meaning you can have both your Tinker and a regular enchant on your gear. Early on, Engineering will also have access to 359 item level goggles, which will be your pre ray best in slot for every single class. This is because you can actively choose what stats you want to put on your helmet through the use of cogwheels. Ultimately, I do not see profession choices being that much different from Wrath. Most people will gain the most value from Engineering, and then the second option will be between Tailoring, Jewel Crafting, and Blacksmithing. Keep in mind that jewel crafting drops off in value during Dragon Soul when we have access to the epic gems and blacksmithing becomes stronger. So unless you really want that bonus one stat for the first few tiers, I would go for blacksmithing as your second profession if you're not going tailoring. Keep in mind that during launch there will be some opportunities for some variants as long as you're willing to swap professions during the expansion. I, for example, play a blood decay. And as such, my pre ray best in slot trinket will be from alchemy. So I plan to go alchemy during the start of the expansion until I get a better option from heroic rating. Then I'll swap back to jewel crafting or blacksmithing for the added mastery. And of course, if you're using your professions to make gold rather than for player power, then erase this video from your memory. If you want to get more information on all things Cataclysm before launch, I've made a playlist with all of my Cataclysm videos and there'll be plenty more to come. So make sure to subscribe. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, until next time.